Ever wonder what causes the quests to get more difficult? Why the requirements for success increase? Do you think it's based on clan tier? Spoiler, it's not. Let's look at all the factors related to this. The game uses what it calls player progress to track your progress. Player progress is determined by nine weighted data points. Here's the list. By weighted, I mean each of the factors has a multiplier that goes along with it to give you a portion of it to add to the total. This allows some factors to be more important than others. All of the factors are added together to get a number between 0 and 1. When we see a range like this, we can think of it as a percentage. Take that number and multiply it by 100 and you'll have a percentage of progress. If you look at the list, you can see we'll never have 0 or less. Party size will be at least 1. Player's level will be at least 1. Number of clan lords, which includes yourself, will be at least one. So a fraction of each of those will always be greater than zero. In fact, in many places that use this value, it uses a minimum of 10%, not zero. The high end of that is one, or 100%. The code uses a function to make sure you can't exceed one so you won't get bonuses or penalties due to having 200% or something greater. So what does all of this mean? Basically, we are getting a percentage to use in a calculation to see how much of a maximum requirements, rewards, and so forth from a quest we'll get. It's determining the quest difficulty. For example, the Caravan Ambush Bandit Party will be at least 25 men, plus a percentage of 50 more. If you have progress up to 100%, then you will face 75 men in the caravan ambush fight. Let's look at each factor and the weighted multiplier to see how it affects the total progress of the player. Number of Fiefs. This has the biggest impact on the progress value. But let's face it, by the time you get your first fief, you're less likely to be doing quests. So you could argue that this has less impact, and I would agree. But since the code shows it, I'll discuss it. It has a weighted multiplier of 0.1. Fiefs include towns, castles, and their bound villages. So owning two towns with four bound villages each you hit 100% progress. Number of companions. Its multiplier is 0 0.01. At clan tier zero, you can get three companions and be at 3% progress on the first day. At clan tier six, you can have nine companions, so that equates to 9% progress on its own. This does not include family. Family are considered lords and ladies, so they get counted in the clan lords section. Number of caravans. They don't even have to be profitable. They just need to exist. Now, since you can't have a caravan without a companion or family member, it's like double the value toward progress. The multiplier of the caravans is also 0.01 just like the companions. Size of your party is next. The multiplier for this is 0 0.002. This means if you have a party of 500, you are at 100%. It's party size, not army size. You won't end up with this for quite a while, so several other factors will push you up to 100% before you get 500 troops. And this value is based on the current number of troops in your party, not the maximum size of your party. Player's level. 
This has the same multiplier as the party size, 0 0.002, which means you would have to be level 500 to reach 100%, which is impossible since the max level of a character is 62, which on its own would be 12%, but good luck making it to 62. Number of Clan Lords. On the Clan tab under Members, you have Family and Companions. Companions were addressed earlier. Everyone under the Family section is a Lord or a Lady, and they all count here. The multiplier here is 0 0.002, so these alone can't get you up to 100%. You would have to play a long time and have a lot of kids and grandkids. Possible? Yes. Likely? No. Number of supporters. I have a whole video coming out in the future to discuss notable supporters, so I won't go over the specifics here. The multiplier is 0 0.001. So you would need 1,000 supporters to get this up to 100% by itself. Depending on the length of your game, you may only get a dozen supporters. So this factor will likely be of small impact on your progress. Clan Strength. The multiplier is 0 0.0008. You would need a clan strength of 1,250 to hit 100%. That's not kingdom strength. It's just your clan's strength. This is its own calculation using various factors. I'll cover this in detail in a future video as well. Renown. Notice this is renown and not clan tier. At 6,150 Renown, you reach Clan Tier 6. And with the weighted multiplier of 0 0.000015, that would mean you would be at about 9% progress with no other factors counted. You would have to get over 66,000 Renown to get 100% progress with no other factors. Firstly, understand how small an effect Renown has on player progress. And second, understand that Renown keeps going up after you reach Clan Tier 6. Here's a simple breakdown. You have one fief with four villages. You are Clan Tier 6. Your party size is 200. And your level is 30. This would max out your player progress. If you wanted to use only one of these factors to reach 100% player progress, it would be the number of fiefs. But it's more likely that you would use a combination of these factors to increase the player progress. But really, what does this mean? Why bother understanding any of this? I wanted to clear up some misinformation floating around about what causes the quests to have different difficulty levels. The most common misunderstood explanation was that it was tied to clan tier. Now we know that's wrong. Now that you understand it better, you can use it to your advantage for quests. If you want to complete quests quickly with low end goals, do them before you start progressing. If you want to do quests later and have bigger rewards, build up some of these factors to get more out of the quests. Can you manipulate this? Yes. The progress value is updated so each time a quest appears in the game, the quest will use the current value of player progress. The factors that you can change, you can reduce to drop the value and get a low end goal for the quest if that's what you wanted to do. Check out some of the other videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. Peace out.